Every day, Sir Topham Hatt came to the station to catch his train. Good morning, he'd always say to Thomas. Don't let those silly freight cars tease you. Remember, you always have a special role as the main helper in our train yard. There are lots of freight cars, and Thomas worked very hard sorting them and pushing them into place. As Thomas finished his work, he noticed a small coach attached to what appeared to be two cranes. That's the breakdown train, said his driver. The cranes are used for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and freight cars. Ah, so that's what those are for, said Thomas. I wonder what they are like in action. A few days later, Thomas was in the yard shunting. Suddenly, he heard an engine frantically whistling. Help! Help! A freight train came rushing through the yard much too fast. The engine on the front was James, and he was frightened. His brake blocks had caught the fire. They're pushing me! They're pushing me! He panted. On! On! Laughed the freight cars, still whistling frantically. Help! Help! Poor James disappeared. Those stupid trucks. I wish I could teach those trucks a lesson, said Thomas. Soon the alarm sounded. James is off the line! Get to the breakdown train! Quickly! Thomas was soon coupled on and off they went. Hurry! 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 said Thomas. He wasn't pretending to be like Gordon. He really meant it. Bother those freight cars and their tricks, said Thomas. I hope poor James isn't too hurt. James's driver and fireman were feeling him all over to see if he was hurt. Never mind, James. It was your old wooden brake box and those stupid trucks that caused the accident. Thomas soon arrived with the breakdown train. He was uncoupled and then went to remove the unhurt car. Oh dear, oh dear, they screamed. Served you right, served you right, said Thomas. He was busy all afternoon. This'll teach you a lesson, this'll teach you a lesson, he told the trucks. And they answered, yes it will, yes it will. They left the broken cars, then with two cranes they put James back on the rails. At last, James was back on the tracks. James didn't have any steam, so Thomas had to help him back to the sheds. Sir Topham Hatt was anxiously waiting for them back at the sheds. Well, Thomas, said Sir Topham Hatt, I heard all about it and I am very pleased with you. You're a really useful engine. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint, and you, Thomas, shall have a branch line all to yourself. Oh, thank you, sir, said Thomas. Now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line and two coaches named Annie and Clarabelle. He puffs proudly backwards and forwards with them all day. He is never lonely. 
Edward and Henry stopped quite often to tell him the news. Gordon's always in a hurry, but he never forgets to say, Boop, boop. and Thomas always whistles, Beep, beep, in return. <laughs>